BlackRock is close to getting into crypto, and when they do, we'll buy billions worth of Bitcoin. Industry insiders are expecting Bitcoin spot ETF approvals for BlackRock and other asset managers within the next three to six months. This will bring a tsunami of institutional money into crypto. So a lot of you are happy, but you probably shouldn't be. Today, we'll look at what these ETF approvals mean for crypto, what comes next, how I'm preparing to take advantage of them, and when I'll start accumulating. But first, I have to say I'm not a financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only. Anything I share here is my personal opinion. Do your own research before investing in crypto because it is a high risk industry. Let's get started. Now, you might have heard about the already existing futures ETF for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So what's the big deal with a spot ETF? Well, futures ETFs don't need to be backed by the underlying asset. So asset managers who issue a futures ETF don't need to buy Bitcoin or ETH to back the ETF. Spot ETFs work differently. When BlackRock and other asset managers get their ETFs approved, they will need to buy billions worth of Bitcoin to back them. And it doesn't end there. When the Bitcoin ETFs get approved, they will start applying for Ethereum ETFs. I mean, Grayscale is already applying. Billions of cash flowing into crypto sounds amazing, but honestly, I'm worried. An institutional giant like BlackRock digging its fangs into crypto marks a turning point that will forever change this industry, for the worse. BlackRock is not the good guy. In fact, history has proven that they have been the bad guy many times over. BlackRock has recently been accused of profiting from misery in Zambia with its predatory lending tactics. In the US, they are buying up single-family homes in bulk, which is contributing to the steep rise in housing costs. And that's just a few of the things that they're involved in. My point is, BlackRock is not your friend. On a day-to-day -day basis, BlackRock exerts massive control over financial markets, manipulating them to its will and absolutely crushing retail traders. They've been perfecting this in TradFi for decades, and now they're coming to crypto. And for some reason, we're cheering them on. You think FTX was bad for crypto? BlackRock has been manipulating markets since before the founders of many crypto firms were even born. They are masters of market manipulation, and everything they do is legal because they're best mates with the lawmakers. I would rather go to battle against VCs, which, let's face it, are often incompetent compared to seasoned soulless manipulators like BlackRock. I am not happy BlackRock is coming. They might pump my bags short term, but long term, they will sterilize crypto. They will bring immense capital and resources, creating an uneven playing field for retail traders like us. Their vast influence will completely reshape this market, tilting the balance in their favor. They will deploy sophisticated algorithms, now AI-based, causing extreme market volatility, but not the kind of volatility we like. Most individual investors won't be able to keep up with the institutional firepower that these mega funds wield. They'll bring with them a wave of consolidation, acquiring crypto exchanges or using their influence to put them out of business. If you think VCs are bad, we are about to get VCs backed by evil megacorps that are the complete opposite of everything crypto is founded on. They'll push for regulatory measures that favor their interests. Compliance burdens will increase, hindering smaller projects and stifling innovation in the space. The regulatory landscape will become far more complex, creating higher barriers to entry for the little guy. The once anonymous nature of transactions will erode, leaving individuals exposed to surveillance and compromising their financial privacy. Innovation will suffer under institutional dominance. Institutions favor established cryptos and will suppress new projects. The sense of community in crypto will be fractured by institutional control. Trust will erode as individuals feel betrayed by the very institutions they believe would drive positive change. They will make crypto a sterile shell of its former self. 
And then decentralization becomes a meme. When we finally realize that even though the blockchain itself is decentralized, he who controls everything around the chain controls the chain. Then we, the little guy, once hopeful for financial freedom, find ourselves overshadowed by institutional dominance. The fun will be over. The face melting pumps will be over. Crypto will become stock market 2.0. I am on this ride till the bitter end, but with every passing day, the future looks bleaker. I don't think crypto is dead or that it's over, but I do think that over the next few years, everything that made crypto special will be sucked out by the leech that is BlackRock. So what are the next steps? Well, we have seven months until the halving and three to six months until insiders believe the ETFs will be approved. I believe BlackRock's initial push into crypto will be good for us. They won't buy alts, but they will buy BTC, which will make alts rally. There is generally a lag time of one to three months between BTC rallying towards all time highs and alts really taking off. This is one of the reasons I'm accumulating right now and speeding up my accumulation over the next few months. This is a critical time in crypto we are seeing the catalysts that lead BTC into a bull market lining up and alts will follow after. We are seeing alts crashing right now, giving us bargain prices on many of them. My plan is simple. I'm accumulating in the lead up to the halving and ETF approval, but this bull run, I will be taking profit even more aggressively than last. Because as BlackRock and other firms tighten their stranglehold on crypto, I see a lot of alts lose momentum or even die. So there's my personal game plan, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bleak, but I think the opportunity is still there for one last major bull run. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you may want to check out this one on the top five ZK roll-up projects I'm watching this bull run. For now though guys, remember, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I'll see you soon.